everyone. This project is hot off the press. We were gonna do something different Ooh. today and then, I don't know how many of you guys are on TikTok, but there is like- I call it Tic Tac. Tic Tac, it, there's been, a, it's honestly, it's been a trend for about a month, okay. a month yeah, yeah, and a yeah. half. Yeah. Um, but I decided to make one myself, for Ooh. myself one night, and then I Ooh. wore it the next day, and Alicia and Courtney were like, ah, that is so cute. We think that our ladies would love yes. this. We're gonna incorporate a print and cut to Ooh. show you guys how you can display them if you want so to like good. make them custom for other people. But yeah. this is a viral, it did go a little viral on TikTok, charm necklaces, y'all. I was like, growing up, charm bracelets were oh, like my thing. Like I that's loved what my them. My mom had a uh, a charm bracelet and like it was so nice because I just would get her a charm for her birthday, a charm right. for Christmas, like it was awesome. But like we're doing this, it's just, you know, yeah. little charms that you can get from Hobby Lobby, not super expensive, Ooh. very cute, Ooh. very colorful. So We good. love colorful. So good. So okay, guys. So good. This is what we're gonna be making today. Let's go ahead and go overhead so they can see it. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, I've not taped this or I didn't like. I, if I were giving this to somebody, I probably would have taped this to the back. But look how cute! Yes. Now this one is my charm necklace. Um, this is the one that made, and I'm gonna. I'll go ahead and take it off since you all. But this is the. Um, this is what we're gonna be making to put it on. Number one, and this is the charm bra charm bracelet. Shoot, charm necklace that I made for myself. And y'all, I, I just love this so much because you really get to pick and choose what you want your charms to be. Like mine kind of tell, not, I wouldn't say tells a little story, but like kind of tells a little yeah, story. Yeah, tell like, us the story. Well, I'll tell you part of the story. <laughs> like I'm not gonna tell you all, you guys okay. all of the story, but whatever, I digress. <laughs> um, so for example, on this side, you know, it's got the little A for Asher, because, and then I have the heart because of course my child is my heart. And then I have a little playing card because he is a card shark and we play Ooh. poker all the time. And then this little green represents his birthstone because he was born in August. And then honestly, those are just because his favorite color is purple. Aww. So I put the purple smiley on this side and I just wanted to end it out with that cute little flower. Um, and then on the other side, it's, you know, just little things that represent my life. Love and it. And you can have it to represent people in your life, things in your life, whatever. Um, but this is such a fun uh, project to make. And then, like I said, we said earlier, this, making this print and cut with your Cricut truly just takes it over the top because once you put it on there, Talk about like wrapping this up in a little tissue paper, oh giving my gosh. it as that gift. Like Valentine's Day, guys, like, is a week away. Cute. Like imagine giving this as a gift this Valentine's Day. I love it. So what you're going to need for this is of course your base necklace. Now, Hobby Lobby has lots of different chains that you can choose from. Um, this one is just the metal gallery chain. This was $4, not on no sale. Way. I mean, you know? So good. And what's really cool is if you got a group of people together to do this together, like I had to buy all of these charms, like these charms I bought for Alicia, um, yeah. cause I thought a lot of this stuff represented her and her family and I'll explain everything later. Um, but like these little butterflies, really and truly, I only needed one of them, mm -hmm. but you had to buy the whole pack. So that's why I think this is a great project to do if you wanted to do like a Galentine's party. Ooh. You all could just make charm necklaces together. That's so fun. How cute would that be? So you're gonna need your necklace. I've linked one These from- These charms are so affordable. Yeah, like that. even not on sale, yeah. the little um, letters are 250, but they were the letters were on sale. This one's 99 cents. This pack was like 329. The wow. the most expensive pack that I got was this pack and it was 899, but I'm pretty sure it was 40% off. That's awesome. So, they're it's very very affordable. Um, but what you're going to do or the way that I did this. Mm -hmm. Because what do we want? Do we want to just go ahead and put the charm necklace together before we do the Let's do it. Part? Okay. So how I did this is I like to 
lay my necklace out and then what I think is best is kind of start laying out how you where you want your charms um, so I have and I should have taken all of these off beforehand because this might take me a minute um, I have a charm for Trey for Aww. Alicia a T for Trey and then so that'll go somewhere in here and while i'm doing that trey is such a handyman i thought these were just like the cutest stinking little things it's oh. like a little hammer a little saw listen a little wrench. we will we will have the hardest working day here at makers gonna learn and i will go home put my babies to bed and i will get in bed myself and i'll look on instagram and alicia trey are at home depot yeah. Every, uh, like once a week. I'm like, how are you guys doing that? She's like, we got projects. We got projects always got a do. project. It's so fun. They're such a handy couple. Really and truly. So I saw these and I was like, this is Trey through and through. And he, they do a lot of woodworking. Yes. I didn't see a gold. Mm, they didn't have a golden saw. So we're doing a silver saw because I like mixed metals. Yeah. So that's going to be Trey's little charm beside his name. Um, and there should, I did, there's a supply list. If you'll let yes. them know, there's a supply list in Asana. It okay, should be there. Perfect. I'll let the and team know that I, we can add it. What I have done with the supply list, I linked the necklace on Amazon. You can, like I said, get the necklace from Hobby Lobby. That's fine too. Um, I also, um, I'm trying to think. I just linked, literally just linked like the whole, like the charm page. I just yes. searched charm on Hobby Lobby and I just linked the page. I did not link every single one of these charms because right. honestly, y'all, I didn't know what charms I was going to use today and what charms I, I'm not. So right. we're just going with it. So that one's going to be for Trey. Now let's get Ruby Doos out. Let's get her little R. Love it. Uh, Sin says it's been added to the description. So my friends, if you do not see our supply list, all you need to do is refresh your page. And if you're watching the replay, it's down below for you in the description to links to everything you see around here. And then I also got a little G for Georgia because, Aww. and I looked so hard for a peach. Oh, that Georgia would be perfect peach. for Georgia. But they didn't have one. They had every other fruit imaginable, but a peach. Tell me how, Aww. tell me why that didn't. But anyway, so we're going to add Georgia over here. I think what I want to do, I want to put Trey's kind of in the middle and then Ruby's and Georgia's on the side. I love it. Okay. So now I thought that I wanted, I got the, the reason I got these butterflies is because I thought this one little butterfly was the cutest peach color. So that's what I got for Georgia. And butter, I don't know, it just was screaming Alicia to me like hardcore screaming Alicia. So that is, I got this one to go on Georgia's side. So this one, this pack I got because I just felt like this right here screamed Alicia to me, like the peace sign, yes. like all of that. But I want to lay it out and make sure that I have enough color mm -hmm. and that they coordinate really well so i definitely want to use this piece on somewhere but we're lacking color so i'm gonna add in some flowers love it i think i want to do this blue one for sure and the cool thing about this is it's not permanent, y'all. You right. can go back and change it. If you don't like something or if you want to add something, you can go back and change it. Yep. This is what I love about this is I can like, before you start attaching, this is why it is it, this step right here is so important, getting all of this around. Like yeah. moving it around, deciding what you want. Um, I don't know, part of me maybe wants to put, let me just, I'm just gonna, humor myself and pull this rainbow in. It's kind of big. That's the only reason that I'm like, I don't know. Do I like it? Do I not? I just kind of want to see. 
And then we can like move things around. It's like not a big deal. Not at all, that's the best part. Anyway, so we start in the middle. I have 11 charms and I want this to be my center point. So that link right there is my center charm. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just going to take this jump ring now, I did find that using two sets of needle nose pliers for this worked a lot better. That way you can hold with one and really pick up, place that in. And I have jewelry pliers. These in my right hand are jewelry pliers. These are actual just like needle nose pliers from our, um... oh no, see this is the problem. Uh, let's figure it back out. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to hold this up. Okay, so now we're just going to start adding our charms. Now, actually, I got that one too Ooh. close. I suggest doing like, you can do as close together as you want. Um, I like being able to see all of the charms personally. So I suggest doing about two to three links in between each charm. And that's one of the reasons why I love the um, paper clip style necklace. That way I can count how many links I've got in between each one. And have them all equally spaced yes because i'm i don't I'm, I'm not normally um like has to be equal all the time but mm -hmm. for this one for some reason it did in my brain now obviously obvi this is going to be the most time consuming part guys yep is just putting all your charms on your necklace but this is one of those things Get you an audiobook, if you, or if you don't listen to audiobooks, books, turn on some music. This is a mindless task. That is such a good thing to do of the evening. That's ex this is actually what I did one evening. Um, sorry, I'm having to count. Make okay. sure I'm even. Um, this is what I did one evening. I didn't have any plans. Um, I knew that. Asher was with his dad, mm -hmm. and my mom was going to be working late. I was going to be by the house at the house by myself. So, like, I just went to Hobby Lobby and had a me night and That's made so my fun. charm necklace. That's so fun. Also, and yeah, you can get this, these supplies from Amazon. You can get the supplies from Hobby Lobby, where we got ours, or Michael's, or wherever you want. You'll notice here at Makers, we do a lot of Hobby Lobby. We pay for it all. We're not sponsored. Um, they're literally just five minutes from our office. So not even five. Not even five. Like, really and truly. Yeah, yeah. It's very cool. Here's another little tidbit that I highly suggest you guys do. Tell us. I suggest that lay you lay your necklace down each mm -hmm. time because if you put your charms on backwards, I mean it would irritate me if I realized that these charms were on backwards. But especially like these letters and the ones that have enamel on the front you don't want this rainbow backwards and the letter with the um diamonds like facing forward so you just have to kind of be aware of that how you put it on like which way it faces so just so you know i love that because the more you know right yes okay so what did everybody say they were doing or what did anybody say what kind of jewelry they have made before oh a lot of leather a lot of leather yeah a lot that a lot of maker you projects um you know just talking about making jewelry a lot aroma beads things like mm. that so this group seems to have done a little jewelry you know a time done some jewelry making yeah, before yeah, 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 yeah. totally totally comments That's okay because you're I'm like very head focused. down focused yeah completing this and you know what we may just put the other few i may finish this charm mm -hmm. and put the other ones mm -hmm. on here in a minute because i think you all get the gist of how Love we're it. doing this holding with one yes. set of pliers opening with the other i like to get my smaller ones count my 
count my little things. This one goes on that one. And then kind of hold at the bottom with my small ones and come back. And this is why I like these. It's because it has those ridges. These needle nose pliers specifically has the ridges on it and it has a wider area. So when I come in to pinch these, it's like it pinches it exactly where I need it to go. And like I have more control, like for example, this jump ring is higher than it should be. So I just need to close it down like that. I just feel like I have more control with the bigger ones. <gasps> I did not just do that. Okay, here's a really good example and I'll have to go back and fix this one later. I wanna lay this down so you guys can see. You see how everything here is facing forward? except for my flower, except for my flower. Ooh. So that one's gonna have to be taken back off and put back on the correct way. So anyway, we'll do that one here in a little bit. Love we'll it. come back love to it, this. Love it, love it. I think you all get the gist of how to put the charms on the necklace. Yes. Um, one thing that is not linked down below are the fonts that we did use. I did forget to link those, but we will get those added. Um, so let's go back to design. Let's go to design space. Oh, there it is. There it is. I zoomed out too far. Let's go back. Oh, okay. So the, where's that one? The fonts that we are going to be using today, let me go ahead and unflatten this. Clearly I've got to get this, um, download this font. Um, but the fonts that we are going to be using today, Violetta, oh, is it all Violetta? No. No. What fonts are they? I bet the fonts aren't there, so you might have yeah. to download That's them. Arial. Okay, let's go back here and then here and it'll tell me what fonts we're gonna replace. It just says Violetta, but there's two different fonts on yeah. this. You know what, we'll go with it. So let's okay. go over to our website. So Violetta, that is the font, the serif font that we're mm -hmm. using. To download a font from our website, what you're gonna do is click the arrow pointing down. You're going to then come up here to your downloads open this up you are going to double click it and then you are going to once you double click it it will open up here um, now we are on a mac if you are on a pc it's going to open up it's going to look different but it's going to be the same thing you're going to install this font onto either your character map which is for pc or your font book which is mac yeah from there you're going to go back to design space Make sure if you are working on something to save it, but once you have saved it, if you go to view and reload, you have to reload Design Space for it to recognize the new fonts that you downloaded onto your computer. Yes. Um, so now that I have downloaded Violetta, it should, it's, you see this red line went away, it's not there. So now, uh, it still did it. Hmm. Let's go you might back. have to design a new one with like new You know fonts. what? We'll do it. We'll do a Heck new one. Yeah. It's not a big deal. I'll just be real honest. Alicia designed this, so I'm not really sure what... I bet it's Celine. Ooh, I love that font. It looks like Celine. Mm -hmm. You know what? We're going with Celine. So good. Violetta and Celine it is. So we're going to download Celine. This is also a new font. And what you can do, if you, we have anybody here that isn't really sure or doesn't know about our website, what you can do is you can preview your text. So if you wanted to see what the word charm looked like, you can preview that word in all of these different fonts and you can decide which one you like the best. Love it. So once it is down, once you have chosen your fonts that you want to do, um, we do have to download Celine. So once again, we're opening up that OTF, double clicking, installing it onto our computer, going back to design space, going to view and reloading. We're gonna start from fresh anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so what you're gonna do first is you are going to grab a basic shape. Now for this one, we used this oval, um, you could do this one. You could even, I was looking, 
I feel like this shape would be super cute too. Either one of those would be really pretty. Actually, you know what? I think I want to go with this one. I think I, I, I don't think I want to do this one. I think I want to do this one. And I think I, we're going to do it about seven and a half inches. Um, you can do it for the necklaces. You do need to do it pretty large. They need to be pretty big, especially for the charms. And we'll go overhead. And even with this one, like I said, it's large, mm -hmm. but like I'm still, some of these charms are on the back which is not that big of a deal. It still looks beautiful here, but if you want all of the charms showing, just know that you need, your oval needs to be pretty large. So we'll just go, we'll go eight and a half in length. And that makes it eight and a half in length and about six inches in height. I think will be a nice, a nice size. And I'm going to change this to white because I do want this just to be on white paper. Now, you can print it whatever color you want. If you wanted it to be a pretty color, um, my suggestion is going down here to advanced and like playing around with like a super light pink would be cute. Um, you can never go wrong with a good tan. Let me show you guys my favorite way of getting a tan. I love coming down to the brown mm -hmm. and then just like up here in the corner, like getting a really pretty tan. Sometimes even the orange will give you a nice tan right here. Like add some gray to it. Love like, it. Can't beat it. So fun. Can't beat it. Um, but anyway, that's how, if you wanted to get a nice color, that way you can. Like I said, we're just gonna go with white. Now we're going to add our text onto our design. So, the first thing we want to do, we want it to say, you're so charming up here. So I'm going to grab a text box. We are using the font Violetta. So I'm going to go over here to my system fonts and type in Violetta. I'm just going to type in Violet. And now we're just going to type in your so. I love this font. It's like so charming, elegant and yes. mature. I know. I, I love, love it. it. So I am going to curve this. So mm -hmm. the first thing, I think I'm going to size it down just a little bit, bring it here, and then I'm gonna go to my curve and I'm gonna curve this down. It's Love gonna that. need to be curved some more. Mm -hmm. About like that. And I do think it needs to, the size needs to come down just a little bit. And just so you know, if you have curved it and you size it down, that curve is still going to be pretty severe. So you may have to come back up here and uncurve it a little bit. Right. And let's just select both of them. And I'm going to go to align and I want to center it horizontally. Beautiful. Now, and I'll change all of the colors here in just a minute. So. Um, yes, Kathy, we did make the charm necklace. We started the process. We did that the very first thing. Um, and now we're doing the card that the charm necklace is going to go on. So what is down here at the bottom is just a really cute little sentiment. Our vision for this was sometimes you see those um, necklaces in like little boutiques, um, a lot of different places that will have like a definition. Mm -hmm. So it may be a, a necklace for a best friend or a necklace for whatever. Um, so that's what we were going for. So the word is a French word from my understanding. Quintrelle, I, <laughs> I can't say it. I don't, I don't know. Um, anyway, we're going to, what was the other font that we downloaded? Let me go back here and look. Celine, yes. that's it. I know it was something with a C. So we're gonna grab Celine. And the word that we're using is Q-U-A-I-N-T-R-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Beautiful. Pronounce that. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> What, what does it mean? Okay, so the definition, <laughs> the definition, oh. or the definition that Alicia put is okay. a woman who emphasizes a life of passion expressed through personal style, leisurely pastimes, cultivation of life's pleasures and charm. Period. Super cute. Let me, yeah. you know what? I just want to, I'm, I'm just going to Google it at this point. You just want to be able to copy and paste it. No, no, I don't. <laughs> 
Uh. Oh my gosh, Jan, you're gonna love that new Joy Extra. I love looking at mine. A woman who is focused on style and leisurely pastimes. This sounds like you. I know. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh. Absolutely. So we're gonna go back to Design Space. Um, I'm just going to leave this here for right now. We will go back and really hone in our, um, how we're going to put all this together. So this will go here. I'm going to grab another text box. We're going to go, this one is going to say charm on it. Now this is very important. We are mixing fonts. We want the words that we want to stand out to be in a different font. So the definition, the word, Quintrell, Quintrell, that is, we want this word to stand out and we also want charm to stand out. So that's why these two words are going to be in a script font and then the definition is going to be in a serif font. So we are going to grab another text box and we're going to go back to Violetta and now we're going to type in our definition. A woman who emphasizes. I love this font, like, oh, like just seeing it, I'm like, this font is like, I wanna get behind it. I know. I love it. Personal style, leisurely pastimes. pleasures and okay hear me out this is going to have to be pretty small not too small though it doesn't have to be too small and charm this is why we want to charm in a different font so now what I'm going to do is I'm changing the colors of all of these text box to match so they are gray this is just standard um, I do really like the tan on it. Mm -hmm. Um, mm, ooh, like a good rosy color would be pretty. Let's try like a, a, a mauve. So once you have everything um, placed where you want it, this is going to be a, um, print and cut, okay? So once you have everything placed where you want it, the next step and you have, you could even, if you wanted to put like little pictures here, you can, it would be beautiful if you wanted to. Once you are done designing, what you're gonna do is you're going to drag and you are going to click and drag and cover everything here, okay? And we're going to hit flatten. I mean, look how cute. And let's change our canvas color so you all can see better. Look how stinking adorable. But we're not done yet. We are not done yet. Because currently we are just cutting out this oval. But we want to have slits here so we can put our necklace in there. Okay? Um, we I did two semicolons just because I like the looks of a semicolon. Okay. Love it. It's your design. It's you can do whatever. It's not fun. You really can do whatever. So good. Um, but what you need to do now is we're going to add in the lines so that our Cricut will cut the lines as well. So you're going to come back up here to shapes. The first one here, it is a score line, but what we're going to do is we are going to size it down. Okay. We are going to rotate it. I think 45 degrees, oh, oh, negative 45. Oh no, it should have been negative 45. Negative 45 degrees, beautiful. We'll size it down even more because it doesn't need to be like super huge. And then from there, we're going to change it from a score line to a basic cut, okay? Now, this is somewhere where you're going to definitely want to zoom in. We're going to choose this line and I'm going to place it. I want to make sure it is at the edge, if not even like sticking out just a little bit from our design, because you want to make sure the Cricut is going to cut around it. 
but it also needs to cut here. So once you've done that, we are going to duplicate it with it. We're going to select it. We're going to duplicate it. Now this is the easiest way that I have found is once you duplicate it, we're going to go up here to flip mm -hmm. and we're going to flip it horizontally. We're going to bring it over here. Now I do want to offer this to anyone. There's also another way, Lauren. You could cut it and then get your scissors. You could get your scissors if you wanted and to. And if this is too much for you, I just want to offer that sometimes just because the Cricut can do it, doesn't mean you have to have it do it. But I love giving you both options. But for anyone that's like, okay, what? Like, feel free. I just want to give permission. Scissors. Yes. <laughs> you are, you have permission to do scissors. Okay. So good. Seriously, I didn't mean to move you. Okay because I'm so zoomed in. So once you have your slits there, okay, what we're gonna do now is, I like working from the layers panel because you all could see, it's like anytime I clicked on it, it would like move it around. I don't want it to move. I want it to say exactly where it's at. That's why working from your layers panel, y'all, is something that I feel like needs to be utilized more. We do it here, but if you all are not working from your layer, layers panel, you need to start. Um, so how you can do that is select this line, hold down the shift key, select the other line with the shift key still held down. We're now going to select our flattened print and cut image. So we have all three of these selected and this just needs to be deleted. So we have our print and cut image, shift key, line, line. You see they're all green. They're all selected. So now what we're going to do, is we are going to attach them. We don't want to flatten them because if you flatten them, you're just gonna have two black lines here. Now, if you wanted to flatten them and you have two black lines where you can come in and cut with your scissors, fine, you can do that. But we are attaching them because now what it's gonna do, our Cricut is going to cut out this oval and then it's just gonna cut these two little slits. Love it. Beautiful. Now, all we have to do is send it to our printer to print. Um, so we are going to go to make it, we are using the Explore 3 today. This will fit on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. We are using a 120 pound cardstock. It does need to be pretty thick, especially for this charm necklace. If you use 60 pound cardstock, that cardstock would look like that because of how heavy the necklace is. So you do need to have a pretty thick yeah. cardstock. So super important. Once you've done that, we're gonna go to continue we are going to send it to our printer. For this one, because we don't have color going to the edge of our image, we are going to turn bleed off. We are using our Canon TS8100 series and I'm using system dialog. From there, I'm going to select print, pull it down because it, um, it will pull up behind if you're on a Mac nine times out of 10. Um, we are feeding this from the rear tray, best quality. And y'all, I've been changing my media type to photo, even if it's not photo Ooh. paper. And I've been getting some dang good prints. I like that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and Wait, change. Wait, better prints than just moving it to best quality? I'm, mm, the okay. color the color payout, it's just, like, different. it's just a more saturated color. Mm. I don't know, like that uh, sweatshirt that I just did yeah. where I printed on DTV. It's clearly not photo paper, but I yeah. printed it on photo top. Mm -hmm. and it just gave some really, I love that. really good color. Everybody try it. So try it out if you want to. Yeah. So after that, we're going to select print. It is going to print and I'm going to go grab that. Woohoo! One thing that I have done in the past, and I was just, I'm going to tell you guys, because if we have someone new, yeah. there's a good chance you're going to do this and I don't want you to do this. I highly suggest, because you would think this is an oval, I, it doesn't matter which way I put it on the map. Oh, it's going to cut an oval, right? Right. I have had that that train of thought, thought before. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's very important how you put it on the map. Yeah. So let's go back to design space real quick. Um, the You're So Charming is on the left side. So you need to make sure when you lay it on the map, the You're So Charming is on the left because I have done a project very similar to this before and I thought in my head, it's just a square. It's not going to mess yeah, up. Yeah. But if we flipped it around, it would cut out the oval probably perfectly fine. But then our slits are going to be on the this side of our 
uh, oval. So just make sure you put it on the mat the way that it is in design space. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So now that we've done that, we are going to load load our mat. I'm going to move my tea, my unsweet tea. It's doing it to me again. Uh -oh. It has done this to me the past three times. Crazy. I have cut it on craft board setting. Crazy. It does one pass and then it stops and then but let's go like over cut. here. Is it like the last time yesterday? Is it cut through all the way? Yes. Is it cut through all the way? Yeah, it is. It's so wild. I can see it's cut through all the way, yeah. but it's go to the share screen and show them what it's. Yeah. This is, it says cutting one of two passes because I did use the craft board setting and then come back over here to the Cricut, it completely stopped. Right. It's not letting me unload. It's not, I don't know what's going on with Design Space. So I'm just gonna hit cancel, I guess, cause it did cut all the way through. Yes, I wanna cancel the cut and then it will pop it out. Beautiful. Anyway. Little tech issue. And that's the thing with each Cricut update, you'll notice like there can be some of these little uh, finicky things that come up. They usually fix them and release an update and then it'll be fine. So yep. it's just part of it. And then once you're done, which I'm not got, I still have like two or three more charms to put on this one, but look how cute. Beautiful. And look how that size. Is perfect. Is perfect. Yeah. yeah. That is incredible. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Someone look said it happened to them too cute. last night. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Look at it. I love so it. Good. So Lauren will add the rest of her charms and then she'll be ready to give Alicia a welcome back to work gift. Welcome back to work. Ooh, it's so good. I love it. What do you guys I think? Let us know. Let us know down below if you are going to try your hand at making some charm uh, necklaces. I